this fucking Casey Neistat okay emoji is getting a little out of hand. This is my video for today. Yesterday, I shot a vlog all day and it was so much fun. I hung out with my friend Sarah and uh, I took for a ride in two fast cars and it was a lot of fun. And I actually, the funny thing is, is that like I didn't anticipate on that happening. I didn't think that I was going to be doing that last part and I'm glad that it actually did happen because by the time that I had gotten up to where um, it happened, I only had like six minutes of video left, or six minutes of video. So, I mean like after editing it, I mean roughly. I, I had a lot of fun like doing it though um, I, and the feedback has been really good and I've actually gained like like 14 subscribers since posting it and that was just yesterday so it was actually it was really it's a positive experience um today's video is going to be a little different um i posted uh, a q a like ask me anything a couple hours ago on my twitter my snapchat and my facebook and um uh, since i'm not really well known um i only had a couple of questions uh so which is fine so I'm going to answer them. Why is bologna round and bread square? Well, that's really simple to answer, really. It's because if bologna was square like bread was square, then the bread would feel like the bologna was trying to impersonate it and get really paranoid and self-conscious. And then the bread would start to sweat and it wouldn't taste very nice. So the bologna is trying to be considerate to be round, be different than the bread. And that's why, you know, you match. That was a really stupid question, a really stupider answer. I'm gonna leave it in though, fuck it. All right, the next question is, comes from my friend James, why is there not a PS4 game that's porn and you get to do all the crazy shit? Uh, is there not? Is there not VR porn? There's VR porn, I don't know about PS4 porn though, but um, I, I don't know, man. I That seems like it would sell like fucking crazy. Okay. The next question is, will you rap part of your favorite rap song, please? I'm not going to do something stupid like that. Man. <gasps> Woke up quick at about noon. Just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. I got to get drunk before the day begins. Before my mother starts bitching about my friends. About to go and damn near went blind. Young niggas at the path throwing up gang signs. Ran in the house and grabbed my clip. With my Mac 10 on the side of my hip Bailed outside and pointed my weapon Just as I thought the fools kept stepping Jumped from the foot and hit the juice on my ride Got front and back and side to side And then I let the Alpine play Pumping new shit by NWA It was gangster gangster at the top of the list And then I played my own shit and went something like this Cruising down the street in my six foe, jocking the bitches, slapping the hoes, went to the park to get the scoop. Knuckleheads out there, cold shooting some hoops. A car pulls up, who can it be? A fresh El Camino rolling, Kilo G. He rolled down his window and he started to say, it's all about making that GTA. Also, why are most men self-centered douchebags? Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that seems kind of subjective i mean i don't think i'm a self-centered douchebag but then again i am so self-promoting my channel constantly so maybe i'm narcissistic but i'm gonna answer your question with the question why are most girls self-centered bitches ah, but they're not all right next question um what are the early signs of pregnancy um well you're gonna start feeling sick in the morning like nausea um, you know, being late, uh, on your period, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I really hope that you're not pregnant. That would suck. I mean, unless you're trying to get pregnant in that case, a 10 out of 10, a plus plus. Um, let's see. Next question. Would you rather sweat mayonnaise or would you rather sweat ketchup? Um, I think that this one is kind of a given. Uh, I would much rather sweat ketchup strictly because, you know, for one, I don't really like mayonnaise. Uh, I mean, spicy mayo is okay. And for two, ketchup turns a lot less than mayonnaise does. I feel like mayonnaise kind of, you know, 
if I sweated it, by the time it came out of my pores, it would already be bad. So, uh, let's see here. Um, would you play test my pathetic attempt at an indie game? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Silly attempt of an indie game. Okay, first off, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Kelly uh, gave me this question. And, of course, I would, uh, just because I know that you're talented. And, second of all, um, when is it going to be released? I would love to do that. Um, I know you say it's just a silly, like, 8-bit, you know, uh, adventure. But, yeah, I would love to. Um, send it to me, please. I would really like that. Um, let's see, I got another question, um, <laughs> this one's good, uh, is the devil really evil? Think about it. What if he was just trying to save the human race from being enslaved by God, and when he came to the Garden of Eden, fuck, he's got impact, and when he came to the Garden of Eden, he freed them and gave them awareness, choice, and freedom. Now what about Jesus? Was he dying for the sins of humans or the sins of his father? LOL, put that shit in your vlog. <laughs> Very insightful. Um, well, you know, man, I'm a hardcore atheist, but if I took the Bible as um, a piece of literature and not something to live my life by, then of course I think that the devil is in the right. You know, um, it's, they say that God is not a jealous God, but he kicked the devil out of heaven because he was more pretty than him. I don't know, man. I, I, I really feel like... The devil kind of gets a bad rap, honestly, because, you know, like you said, he gave them the freedom of choice, knowledge, and uh, I just, I think that the devil is not that bad of a dude, in all honesty, and, um, but that's just my personal opinion, um, but yeah, that's really all the questions that I have for now, um, oh wait, no wait, there's one more from Twitter, okay, what is the craziest relationship you've ever had and why, um, well, <laughs> I would like to say that uh, it was the most recent one, but it wasn't. Um, it was actually this one time that I dated a girl. She moved right in, right after my ex moved out, because we started off as roommates. And um, this girl actually ended up stabbing me in the foot, because I can't really remember the reason, but um, that was definitely my most crazy ex. The sex was amazing, but crazy as fuck yeah um but yeah that's that's pretty much gonna do it for the q a um i thought that maybe it would be kind of fun to do a little bit of interaction with you guys but um yeah i don't know today's video kind of sucks but um i'm working on something that's going to be coming out uh sometime either sunday or monday that i'm really excited about so be sure to check back on my channel then um be sure to subscribe and um, if you guys want to watch my vlog from yesterday, be sure to watch it here. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. And I appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.